All right, guys, we're going to take a quick look at the first thing that I check out when I'm dealing with like large assembly performance. Um, usually I'll go to the performance evaluation or assembly visualization, and I'm going to take a look here and just look through. Um, and one of the first things I take a look at, honestly, is really this graphics triangles section, right? And I'm going to show you why this is important. So that's kind of my going to be my tip for today. So if we take a look at this, I'm going to go over to that part now that I've opened it up. Doesn't look like anything fancy. It's not a very complicated feature tree. Uh, something suspicious is that there is a helix and a, and a cut thread. Um, but, you know, you can do cut threads and it, it doesn't necessarily mean that it's going to be a huge file or a huge problem. But uh, let's take a look at what the file size of this looks like right now. So right now this is 73 megabytes just for this part. So what we're going to do is we're going to go take a look at what effect image quality has on the overall size of this part and therefore like how long it takes to open. Uh, if I go and grab this image quality slider and I bring it down here, usually I like to have it about like one or two, but let's just go to extreme. We'll go all the way down to the bottom here and we'll save it. So there you can see what the image quality does, right? It reduces that mesh size so your graphics card doesn't have to do as much work and all that fun stuff. But now we can see we're down at 366 kilobytes. So ideally we're gonna be somewhere between 73 megabytes and 366 kilobytes when we have this kind of where we want it to just kind of live. So if I go back to my document properties here, image quality, I kind of like to have it in like kind of the second to third kind of mark here. And you know, usually that's the way that my templates are set up. And once we save that, we can go back and look, and it's going to be still much smaller than that 73 megs. Again, remember that like this uh, image quality is going to affect your ability to rotate the model around as well as how quickly these assemblies load. So hopefully this helps you guys. Um, check out your image quality. Have a great day.